Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about some terminologies that we need to understand in order to create load balancer. Here, in this video, we are not going to create load balancer, but we are understanding this terminology. From the next video, we will set up VPC, we will set up a EC2 instance, then we are going to set up the load balancer. So, we have like step by step series of the videos in which we will set up load balancer according to the best practices. Okay. But in this video, terminology of load balancer. Now, we want to set up load balancer like this. We have to set up load balancer into the public subnet. We have our EC2 instance. This EC2 instance will be in the private subnet. Right? Now I'm going to explain you how we can set up this particular uh, load balancer, but our main target is to understand the terminology. Okay? So let me share my screen. Now load balancer is part of EC2 services. Right? So I'm going to the EC2 dashboard. Now here in the EC2 dashboard, if you scroll down, you will get load balancer. Now I'm going to click on load balancer. Right now I don't have any load balancer. Okay. So I'm going to click on create load balancer. Here we have all four types of load balancer, application load balancer, network load balancer, gateway load balancer, and classic load balancer, which is previous generation. Don't worry, we are going to discuss about all of this. We are going to understand the difference because when you are going for the interview, okay, uh, the, the, the favorite question is, what is the difference between uh, application load balancer and network load balancer? Why we have gateway load balancer? Okay, so we will discuss about this, but today main aim is to understand the terminology. Now here, I'm going to select application load balancer. Okay. The first thing is we have to provide name. Okay. I'm going to give name like ALB. Okay. Now here, uh, there is a scheme. Internet facing or internal. If you are willing to access your, like if you want your user to access your website over the internet and you want to set up load balancer for this, then it is internet load balancer. Sometime you have multiple server, but only accessible from your VPC. You don't want anybody to access your servers over the internet, but you want to load balance this server through the load balancer. And this is for your internal VPC purpose or accessibility only. In this case, you can create internal load balancer. Here, we are going to talk about internet facing load balancer and most of the practical, we are going to set up internet facing load balancer. Okay. And here it is asking me about IP address. You can set up load balancer for IP version 4 and for dual stack. Dual stack means it supports IPv4 and IPv6 together. Okay. Not only native IPv6, but it is a dual means IPv4 and IPv6 together. Here, I am just selecting IPv4 for our understanding. Now, it is asking me about the VPC, right? We will create VPC, but whatever the VPC that you have, you have to select this. And here we need to select our public subnet. Okay. Look at the picture that I have. So you will get better understanding. Okay. As in this picture, we have two public subnets. Right. And here our load balancer is placed on this particular public subnets. So when we are sele selecting this one, we have to select our public subnet. This is just a terminology understanding, so I don't have real public subnet. Before practical, we will set up this and here we will select our subnet in which we want to place our load balancer, right? Now, security group. See, load balancer 
also having security group which is used to protect our load balancer okay so here if you are going to create new security group or you can use the default security group in our real practical we are not going to set up this uh, like we are not going to use default security group but if i am going to create security group over here it is like a security group which is used to protect my ec2 instance okay here we have to allow ports right let's say then i want to load balance the traffic for the web server so what i will do i will allow port num tcp port number 80 so anybody can send traffic over the internet to this particular ec2 instance on a port number 80 right so we can set up security group to protect our ec2 instance okay we will create security group otherwise we have default group as well in the real world we will create security group and we will select this right now it is just a terminology so i'm not going to create this now this is the most important point that you need to understand see here we have listener and routing okay now here if i'm talking about the protocol because it is application layer device or a components I am getting two application layer protocol. One is HTTP and another one is HTTPS. Now, what is the meaning of this listener if I am going to configure listener over here? Okay. I am going back to my picture. See, the meaning is if someone is going to send traffic on a TCP port number 80, then load balancer will be activated. Okay only if it is getting traffic on a tcp port number 80 of course we have to enable this on a security group and here we have to set up listener so it will be activated when it will get request on a port number 80 not only port number 80 okay we can also use https as well now this is one of the biggest advantage of load balancer see nowadays when we are opening website most of the website we have is https https means secure now if you want to set up https you can also set up this https is working on a port number 443 if you are going to set up this https it is like one of the best practice and it is always good idea to set up https now what happened if you use https along with your load balancer it means you are offloading https encryption functionality from your ec2 instance okay from your ec2 instance you do not need to set up any certificate or anything inside your ec2 instance instead of this your load balancer will perform this functionality okay and this is one of the best advantage you know earlier we discussed about route 53 to load balance the traffic right route 53 cannot do this route 53 don't understand about https here load balancer can understand this okay it will offload the functionality of https encryption you do not need to set up anything in your ec2 instance in order to provide https access to your to your user okay now here i'm going to set up http because if we http if you are going to set up https we have to set up ssl server certificate as well now how to set up this it is another uh, learning process okay you don't need to worry we are going to set up https as well but right now we are talking about the terminology so we are going to set up this http and in the first phase we will only set up http then of course https will be there as well okay so right now if i am setting up protocol http on a port number 80 what is the meaning of this if someone will send request on a port number 80 on a load balancer on a listener okay it will be activated now once it will be activated then what will happen right it is going to forward this traffic to the 
target group. Now, here we need to create target group. Okay. So, how? Let me click on create target group. It is going to open another window. Okay. Now, as we have set up this listener that if I'm going to get request on a port number 80, then you can decide you want to forward this request like load balancer to forward this request on a in instance on an IP address or a Lambda function or another application load balancer. Okay. So you can load balance the traffic among any of this. Of course, in the first part, we are going to forward this request on an instance. Now here, we have to give target group. Okay. And again, we are getting port over here. Look at this. Okay. Now what is the meaning of this port? Again, we are getting port number 80. Now what is the meaning of this? If I am getting request on a port number 80, it is a listener. Then my load balancer is going to forward request on this instance is on port number 80 as well. Now it is up to you. Let's say that if I am saying that if I am getting request on a port number 80, I want to send traffic to this EC2 instance on port number 85. You can configure this. Okay. But I want you to understand the difference between these two. Here in the previous screen on the load balance balancer screen, it is IP uh, TCP port 80 on a listener. And here when we are setting up this, okay, this is port of our EC2 instance, okay, port number 80, right? Again, you can set up IPv4 or IPv6 for your EC2 instance. We are going to talk about only IPv4, okay? This is VPC, this is HTTP version, and here it is health check, okay? Now, as I explained you in the previous video, that when we have our EC2, uh, our load balancer, load balancer will verify health of your EC2 instance, right? If this EC2 instance is not working, it is not providing service on a port number 80, it will be out of the rotation. Why? Because we don't want to provide uninterrupted service to our user. So load balancer will verify the health of your EC2 instances, targets, and if it is not healthy, it will be out of the rotation. If you want to set up the health, okay, you can set up this from here. By default, it is going to verify health based on the HTTP protocol. This is an exam question, guys. You are going to get this question in the exam that what is the default health check protocol of load balancer? So it is HTTP. Okay. Once you create your load balancer target, you can set up this over here. Other parts are only normal process and you need to click on create load balancer. This is the options that you are getting over here. Yeah. So these are like a required terminology that you must be aware. But when we are going to set up these things, we have to set up step by step. We want to understand all technical aspects of this particular process. Okay. So we will perform our lab, but not in this video, in the next video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.